Apache wants to know, my Acon flight controller USB port is not working. Is there a way to connect the flight controller so I can connect to Betaflight? Apache, um, it's going to be difficult. So, Apache, if you have DJI enabled on a UART, if you have MSP, and let me plug a flight controller in. Hang on, I'll show you. I'll show you the... We need to look at this, not just talk about it. Um, nope. Here we go. So, if if you already have MSP enabled on a UART, like here, UART four has MSP enabled. See that? Then you can disconnect your air unit. You can solder an FTDI adapter to UART4. And then you can connect to the configurator using that FTDI adapter's UR, uh, COM port. Once you've done that, you can then enable MSP on a separate UART. You can, and then obviously you, you, sh you can't be using anything else for that UART. It has to be dedicated, but you can see UART2 here. I'm not using it for anything. You can then solder a header or something to UART2 to let you connect your FTDI adapter to UART2 and then reconnect your air unit on UART4. Now, if you do not have MSP enabled on any UART, then your life gets a lot more difficult. Because what you can do, how are you going to connect to it? What you can do is you can go to the firmware flasher and show unstable releases. And what you want to choose is the USB rescue maintenance. You're going to pick your target. You're going to pick your firmware version. Looks like 4211 is the latest that's available. That's interesting. Oh, maybe they stopped supporting this target. No, 4211. That's interesting. Well, anyway, well, you can work around it. Um, and then you have to flash your flight controller, okay? And when you flash your flight controller, the USB rescue is going to... Where's the release notes for this? Load firmware. What that does is it enables MSP on UART1 by default. Okay? So, But here's the question. How are you going to flash your flight controller if your USB is broken? Okay? You got a bootstrap problem. Um, on your... Which UARTs is it? I have to remind myself. I have to remind myself. I always go to this video just to remind myself. Okay. You can connect your FTDI adapter to UART 1 or UART 3. And then as the flight controller is booting up, you hit the flash button. And the flight controller, if you get the timing right will detect the communication on UART 1 and enter DFU mode on that UART. And you basically just have to plug in the flight controller and then hit flash in beta flight and cross your fingers that it goes into DFU and flashes. Once it flashes, then you will have MSP on UART 1 and then you can solder your FTDI adapter to UART 1. Honestly, honestly, a lot of people would just be like, screw it. I'm buying a new flight controller. It's not worth it. If you have DJI, if you have DJI, you're in luck because you, you already have MSP enabled on a different port. And that's 1000% what you should do.